Hello everyone, today we will learn about how to create a payload to compromise any operating system, in this video we'll learn about how to compromise the window operating system. The payload will not in the exe file, but the file will be embedded in a different file format, so it will still work for you. So let's start with this, so welcome back to Dark Web Association. Okay then, let's move on to our Parrot operating system where we are going to performing all these things. It is our Parrot operating system terminal, we have to give sudo permissions here, and enter the password to gain the root privilege. Now we will use simply social engineering toolkit to make a payload, we will write se tools and press tab. This will automatically fill. If you are using this for the first time, so it will ask you for some permissions like yes or no, you have to give it yes, then the interface you have will be shown. Now the only attack we have to do is the first social engineering attack. We will now again enter the option first, the spear phishing attack. So now we are going to choose the option create a file format payload. And after entering, we can see that what we want is at 13th number. Adobe PDF embedded EXE IE embedding an EXE inside Adobe PDF so we will write here 13. Now if you have already have any PDF, so you can use first, and you can give the path of your PDF file. But as we don't have any PDF file we will choose option second and move forward. Now we are going to use window interpreter reverse TCP, the option second, so here we go now. And let's interrogate what is our IP address, by going in different terminal we will type if config and it will show our IP address. Now copy the IP address and paste and then it will ask for port number you can put any number randomly. Here we write 4455. Hey, the payload is being generated right now. Let's wait. It will take some time. Now the payload is being generated you can change the name of the file or leave it to default. We will rename the file and give it the name Dark Web Association. Now our payload is ready to deploy. It will be stored in the root directory and inside .set directory. Now we will type ls to see all the present file in the directory. Move that PDF to the desktop with the mv command so we can easily deploy the PDF. Now we will check all the privileges to the file with the command ls l. And now we will run MSF console to start an event listener. MSF console is starting, please wait for some time. Now type use exploit multi handler. Now set the payload with the same name like as you have set before like Windows Meterpreter reverse TCP. And now type show options to see all the options available. We are going to set the low stand port as we set on the payload so we can connect back to the victim's machine. Now the L host and L port are set. Now to start the listener just type the command run. As the event listener is running, and whenever the victim will open the PDF file you will get the connection. But there are many antivirus are available which will detect the payload and stop it to run in the system or it will delete the file. So before sending to the victim machine encode the file. 
so the antivirus can't detect it or you can stop the antivirus of the victim machine so you can easily run the file in the victim machine. As per YouTube guidelines we can't show you the techinks but we already explain you the methods by you can exploit any machine. And remember with great powers, comes great responsibilities. Never, use your power to harm someone. That all for this video.